In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to place a fixed ditch in a template. In order to do this you first have to create some test end conditions and the reason to do this should become evident as I move through the the process here. I'm going to add an end condition which will target the existing surface and this will just be our uh, four slope um, it, this actually will not be part of the ditch itself. And in the interest of time, I'm not going to be concerned about point names and component names and um, styles and that sort of thing for this video. So this component is an in condition that is targeting the active surface. And I'm going to go ahead and set up the point properties for that. So I do want that to be infinite, and I want the slope to be 2 to 3, and that's the same slope we're going to use for all of the slopes, including the fixed ditch as well. So I'm just going to give this an arbitrary value. We'll just make it 5, click Apply, and Close. So we can test that. and you can see that that is working properly. From here we want to go ahead and add in the ditch itself which will also be an end condition. So I'm just going to roughly place that in and then we'll go back and make some changes to it. So again this is an end condition and we're going to set the slope here for the first constraint and for the horizontal we're going to use 2 and we don't want to check for interception here so we'll go ahead and toggle that off and click apply moving along the ditch bottom again we'll turn off the check for interception We'll set the slope at 0, and we'll give it a horizontal constraint of 2. And the last point in the fixed ditch here, we will um, also not check for interception because it's a, it's a fixed ditch. So it's just we just want that ditch to be placed as defined. And we'll set the slope, and again the horizontal will be 2. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and test this. And you can see that at a 0% slope, this fixed ditch is working exactly as we want it to. So it's a um, 2 foot horizontal at um, a 2 to 3 slope. And then the bottom is a 2 foot bottom. And again, then it will go up for 2 feet at a 2 to 3 slope. The problem comes into play when you put some sort of slope on the surface. This is not really what we want because we need to have the end point of the back slope to intercept the surface, but we still need to maintain those two widths. So this is where you have to use a test end condition. From here, what we want to do is add one more in condition. So it's actually just going to go up and it is going to seek the surface and uh, we do want it to check for interception and we do want that in condition to be infinite. I'm going to give that the same slope as the fixed ditch and it doesn't really matter what we put as the horizontal constraint, so we will just arbitrarily enter a value of 1. So again, you can see when we test that, you can see that we have uh, that end condition targeting the surface. 
and it is at the same slope here as the four slope of the ditch. So actually this entire string of end conditions is our test end condition. So from here we're actually going to work backwards to construct the actual ditch component. So I'm just going to add a new constrained component and I'm just going to place it somewhere arbitrary right now. And again I'll just kind of rough that in and I'll go back and change the constraints uh, to make it the right dimensions here in just a second. One thing I do want to do is change the style here and I'm going to change that to uh, channels because I know that happens to be magenta. And now I'm going to work in the opposite direction, beginning here and moving around to set up the constraints so that the fixed ditch will have the correct slopes and widths. So it's going to be just the same as it was before. Okay, so now I have a ditch here, a fixed ditch that is exactly the same as what we had down here. And the next step will be to constrain this point here to the test end condition point, the one that is actually intercepting the surface. So that's easy to do. I'll just right click and add a full constraint. I'll select that point and then I'll set both the horizontal and vertical to zero. And we can test that and see what's going on there. When I click draw, you can see that the fixed stitch is behaving just as we would want it to. And we do have this extra test in condition that's showing up, so we're going to take care of that right now. The first thing I want to do uh, before that, though, is I do want to give this fixed stitch a parent component. So I will select this end condition here as the parent of the ditch. That way it will not be displayed unless this end condition solves. And now I can simply go around and I'm going to set all of these white components here which are just being used to test. I'm going to set them to do not construct. Okay, and again I'll test and we can see what's going on there. So you can see now that, let me zoom in just a bit, you can see now that the ditch is being constructed just as we want it to. So the only thing left to do is to create the four slope from this point up to connect to the right edge of shoulder. So I'm just going to add another constrained component and I'm going to just place it up up here somewhere for now. And I do want this component to also have a parent so I want its parent to be the fixed stitch. And now I'm going to simply constrain this point to the right edge of shoulder. So I'll right click and delete both constraints and then I'll right click again and add full constraints to this point. And I want that horizontal and vertical offset to be zero. And this should be our completed component here. Uh, we should have the 
four slope here which is variable and the fixed stitch uh, with the slopes and the dimensions that remain unchanged. So let's test and see. And you can see that that is working properly. It is just the slope that is variable and the ditch remains the same. Oops. And I can use different slopes. And you can see here that the fixed stitch appears to be working just as we would like for it to.